Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum Single Player episode. So, just letting you know ahead of time, and I'll probably put it in my community post as well, the reason why I'm releasing a video today, which is Sunday, is because I won't be streaming tonight, I'll be doing something completely different, I've got a little bit of planning to do ahead of the week, so there's a few things to do with that, so I need all of today really, to kind of solve and plan and pretty much organise myself. Uh, this is gym related. This is I, I basically got through my plan and the way that my PT wants to, to want essentially wants my week to work. Uh, I need to organise a few things here and there, so that's what I'll be doing tonight. Unfortunately, so there will be no stream. Instead, you're going to get another single player episode. So we're going back into Charlie Three Town. The reason for this is because previous episode we got ourselves a whole bunch of fish. And everybody seemed to love the fishing, and I might do it more often, uh, more often than you think, actually. But I need to find a gas stove. I need to find a gas tank as well, and I need to find a few other bits and bobs that will allow me to cook, uh, essentially back at base, not relying on, like for example, the ovens and such of these buildings right here. So that's what we're doing today. We're trying to find all the key parts to essentially start cooking all of the fish that we've caught here. And, oh golly, straight at the bat, there's already badness. I'm just gonna quickly hop in here. Oh, uh, we will be looting, of course. This, th th this, 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 mm, hold on. Set name, hashtag buff. Um, remember, this is mandatory. This is, this, this is a royal decree. You must name your fridges. Buff M. It is, it, it is a decree by me. You must do it. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the cabbage as well because that is just added food. Even more food. Excellent. Even more things to cook. Oh, that's my favourite shirt. I love the flannel shirts. I'll, in fact, recently I bought a whole bunch of other shirts as well. Uh, I'm not necessarily someone who wears shirts a lot, like button-up shirts and stuff like that. I'm, te I, you're, I'm the typical person that will wear like band t-shirts all over the shop. I missed. I didn't miss that time, but I didn't get a headshot. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, I usually wear band t-shirts. I usually wear like Whitechapel t-shirts, I'm on a Marth t-shirts, ACDC, loads, loads of band t-shirts. Um, only because I find them good, because I like graphical, graphical t-shirts and stuff like that. And they, they kind of fit my, uh, my style frying pan we need one of those i believe we've already got one but you know what more is more is better some uncle pong's rice we do have some rice uh we have some rice cooking books so that's a that's a big must right now remember hashtag buff m buffing the m buff m except this fridge is now called buff m if, if if you're wondering why you should call it buff m there is a joke behind it i can't explain it right now but in time, I will. And she'll probably tell you as well. She'll probably tell you, maybe in the comments, uh, wh why we do such things to her. It's, she'll say it's because we bully her. We don't actually bully her. She bullies us. Miss Impossible bullies us. Like me, Rusty, Vlad, Kick. Even Kick. Even Kick gets bullied by Miss Impossible. She, don't, don't be fooled by her loving persona. She's evil. Evil. Ah. I'm joking, she's not evil. She's lovely. She's a lovely person. She's just she's just get one of those uh she, she'll give you she she will take the Mickey out of you for just about anything. Do you like olives? Takes the Mickey out of you. Do you like a certain thing? Takes the Mickey out of you. Hi um I'm just totally shitting on you in my video because you give me shit all the time. Hi <laughs> Oh boy. It's all good, we're best friends, so it's all good. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. She'll end up crying in the comments though. She will end up crying in the comments. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Let's see if we can try and fit. Oh! Bastard. Shut that door. Is there somebody at the door? It sounded like there's somebody at the. Oh, hello. Silence. Oh, can a third time's the charm? Oh yes! Excuse me, you're banging on my door. It's not actually my door, but you're getting the bin. 
Get in the bin. Get in the bin. You're knocking on my door. This is not a game of chappy right now. In fact, that's a good question. That's actually a really good question to ask all of you. What do you call the game where you chap someone... <laughs> you chap someone's door and then you immediately run away? What do you call it? Every, every country that I know that does this has got a different name for it and it's really, really funny because when they say like, oh, chap door run away, that's a very obvious one. That's a very, you know, that's a very vanilla one. We just call it chappy. We just call it chappy. That's all we call it. The people from Scotland, we just call it chappy. Other people in England call it a really strange name. Like I've heard some really strange names for it and I can't even recite them because I can't even remember them. They were so mental sounding. It was so strange. But it's interesting how they've all got different like kind of names for that thing. Oh, here's one. Have you ever played a game where you have a, a football or... Well, yeah, football. We're not talking about American football. We're talking about soccer ball. A football. One that you kick with your foot. War football. Um, what do you call the game where you, tr where you stand on either side of the street, right? Either side of the street, and your whole intention is to hit the curb of the, of, of the, of the, 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 call it the sidewalk, the pavement, you know what I mean? Basically, what you're trying to do is aim for the curb. You're trying to aim for the curb, and if you hit the curb, you get another go, you get another turn. If you miss the curb, the person on the opposite side gets their turn to throw at the curb. The whole point is to try and hit the curb as many times. The person with the most uh, curb hits wins the game. This is a very simple game. This is a game that I used to play in my childhood. <laughs> and we used to bet, like, our pocket money on it. We used to, we used to get, like, 50 pence a pound. Pound 50 for our pocket money to go down to, like, a corner shop. A corner, a corner shop in Scotland is essentially just a shop that has, like, it has everything that you'll need for a half-decent breakfast. It also has, like, little things that you could consider groceries. Like, it's got fresh fruit, fresh veggies. It's got all sorts of, like, candies and sweeties and stuff like that. Um, it's essentially just, like, a little convenience store, is what my American audience will probably call it. A convenience store. It's, it's convenient. It's right there. It's got everything you kind of need. It's got anything there that you're missing, like milk, bread, etc. That kind of thing. And what we what we do is we would take take our pocket money and we would just use it as our as our way of you know you know building the bank up a wee bit. <laughs> Excuse me, madam, you're in my home. Well, not my home, but I can't even draw. I can't even draw this bow. I'll punch you and then I'll shoot you. There you go, loser. Uh, we did get a pot. We got a pan. We've got two pans now. We've even got some added extras in terms of our veggies and stuff like that. I am going to continue to search for a little bit more, uh, more veggies, more meats. Uh, hopefully, more um, you know, you know the spice, the spices, uh, the spice racks and stuff like that. A little spice kit. Uh, hopefully, we can find ourselves some salt, maybe some pepper, uh, some mustard, ketchup, mayo, that kind of thing. Extend the uh, the overall variety of our meals because as I said in the previous episode it's fine just eating like raw material like raw raw materials yeah just eat a bunch of metal just a bunch of raw metal that'll be fine <laughs> take a tablespoon of cement and harden the fuck up <laughs> that's the best that's the best thing I've ever heard and I I actually heard it off of the Big Les show and I I use it constantly in fact that's really good I'm gonna take those those are really handy to have um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and isopropyl alcohol. I'll take that too. Uh, yeah, we want to extend the variety of our meals here. There's a fireman's hat. It's a, it's a very American fireman's hat, but that's a very, very cool looking fireman's hat. Uh, oh. Oh, I can't thread the needle on that, or can I? Can I thread the needle? Can I thread the needle? Oh. Yep, I can thread the needle. Yee hee! I lost an arrow. It went into space as a glass cannon. I missed. I missed again. I didn't miss that time. Took my time. Kinda tells you to take your time when you're using the bow. <laughs> Unless you're in a frantic in a, in a frantic situation where you need to kill a lot of things at the same time. Um, right. More meals, more cooking, more stuff. 
so all we need to do now is find a stove. We just need to find a stove uh, or an electrical kit or an electrical uh, generator. That's the word that I was looking for. Looking for a generator. A generator or a big uh, a big gasoline canister. That would be very helpful right now. I'm going to move you down here and I'm going to make this spread out a wee bit. Uh, spread out the overall variety that I've got in my inventory. I can't. Can I put that down there? No, I can't because it's too heavy. God, oh, I can do this though. I can do this. Hold on, this this will work. Aha, aha! You thought I was a fool, right? That should be enough space in that. Now I can start filling up my pockets in my trousers. Can I put you in there? No, I can still put you in there. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, let's go! Oh, we're cooking with fire now. We are really cooking with fire now. Let's go. Right, we've got a nice big open space in our inventory, in our backpack. Now we can start thinking about the stove. Um, if we can get the stove, that's really good. If I can also get the generator too, that would be a bonus. I need both of those things to work together, unfortunately. So, uh, the only places that I know... The only places that I know where to find said things are in uh, garages. So, we're just going to have a wee look through the garages. See if we can find anything. Um, if we get any... There's a cocktail. I'm not going to take the island special. There's some spinach. I like spinach. I like baby spinach. I love baby spinach. Seeing a nice big... See, because I'm doing... See, well, actually, I've been doing, like, under a thousand calories for, a, for like, a week or so. But I've been told to, um... Oh, yes. That's what we need. Is it full? Check. It's 8% full. That's not particularly good. That's, uh... That's... That's... Mm, Tell you what, what we'll do is we'll just put a little, uh, a little, a little crafting item right here because what I want to do is just want to remember that this is actually here, so I want to place that there. So I'll just shut that door. So that marks out that there is in fact a gas canister in there. So just keeping a note of it. We're gonna go around here. We need to be careful around. Oh, hello. We need to be. Ca oh, we really need to be careful. In fact, I'm gonna start with the uh, the garages over there. Before I go to the garages over at the petrol, uh, over at the uh, the police station, police station, lovely place, very hostile, v very hostile, incredibly hostile. Um, they don't like you over there. <laughs> the police, the PD don't like you over there. They don't like you going near the PD. So it's fine. It's fine. We're not going near it just now. As you can see, my character is also quite hungry right now. So we do, we do need to, we do need to solve these problems. I did search these in the previous episode, so. I need to be quite careful of what I search here, because sometimes it'll come back with a null, it'll come back with nothing. So, ooh, we need to be quick. I'm sure I did find a gas stove in the previous episode, or uh, an electrical stove, but I didn't find a gas or uh, an electrical generator. There's a ri ooh, that's one of my favourite weapons right there. I don't think I searched in here. Hi! <laughs> Doom! <laughs> I'd love it. I'd oh, there's a fire, fire, firefighter's jacket. Nice, nice. Like it. I love that he kind of just went. Doom. Right, hold on. Headshot. Not headshot. Hit. Oh shit. Dead. I'm not going to bother picking up those arrows for just yet. Hold on. I can turn that into into wires. That's good. Can turn those into wires and cut them up into ha 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 ha. Now we're now we're working. Now things are working. We've got our electrical stove and we've got oh. Nice. Now we just need an electrical generator or just a generator, a portable generator in general. That's all we need now. So I'm going to walk back onto the main street over here and see if I've missed a garage. There is a shut garage there, but I believe I searched it in the previous episode. I did not, however, see a generator in here. However, things may be different. There is isopropyl alcohol here, though, which is good. I'll take that. All right. There is a garage... I believe up that direction there's a bunch of garages beside the PD and there's also a garage that I missed all the way down that direction which is the west yeah it's the west so we're gonna have a wee look through those now 
Hopefully we can find it and hopefully we can get this stuff back and start cooking because my character's a little bit on the hungry side. He's down at 27%. I need a wee bit more calories in my diet. A wee bit more calories. Get an itchy head. There you go, I solved that problem for you. Uh, silence. Nice. Gonna quick up, pick up these arrows. They better not fall out of those windows. Oh, he sees me. Okay, alright. Oh, a couple of them see me. That's okay. So long as they don't jump out of the windows, I'll be okay. There's one on the street right there. Two on the street. Three on the street. Four on the street. They're oh. all on the street. God damn it. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the west one first. We're going to go to the west one. In fact, there's two here. So there's one right over there. There's one right at the end of the street. So we're going to go to this one next. Wait, is there one? Oh yeah, there is. There is. My eyes did not deceive me. Still plenty of things I can pick up here in terms of veggies and things. Anything here matches? Oh, that barbed wire can come in handy. Another screwdriver, that'll come in handy too. Uh, I'll take the duct tape because it is a more full duct tape than the other ones that I've been finding right now. They've been down at like 15% and so. So, gonna gonna keep my, uh, gonna keep those. I'm gonna take that as well because that's quite useful. I kind of need that to repair my stuff. Chopping board. Uh, how many chopping boards do you need? He's only he Hold on. Set an M. Hashtag buff M. Accept. There we go. My whole single player world is every single fridge will eventually be called buff M. Every single one of them in my world, in this world I call home, will be called buff M. And one will be called Buff Feudal because at some point, at some point in this year, your boy, your, your boy's gonna be. Oh, yes! Your boy's gonna get ripped. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe not ripped, but just, just feel better, essentially. Feel better. There we go. Rattled. Rattled in the nose. Didn't even see it coming. Right, I'm gonna have to carry this. Uh, let's check it. That's at 15%. That's actually, actually really, really good. And we can carry it, but it's a little carry handle. Look at that! Oh, we're doing good! And this takes gasoline as well. And handy enough for me, north of me... Oh, shit. I'm gonna break line of sight here. Oh, really need to break line of sight here. They still see me. Right, I broke line of sight, so they should they should not be able to follow me any further now. I just have to be careful of my uh, my front now. But there, we've got it. We've got the electrical generator. We've got the electrical stove. Now we can actually do some cooking. Let's do some cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do some cooking. The great thing about this is, see, living beside like a little stream like this, it's always a constant flow of fresh water. I don't necessarily need to waste resources on getting a well, because with a well, if you don't know this, um, it fills up over time. It fills up over time, and depending how many players are around, it depends on how fast that it fills. So if you're in the vicinity of that well a lot, it will it will eventually hit 100%. Uh, but if you're not within the vicinity of that well, there's no players around it to trigger the fill, so it just stays empty. It's very strange. Very, very strange. So, living beside a little stream like I am right now, or like I am living beside, um, it makes life a lot easier for me to gather water. And it makes it easy for when, you know, for example, if I need water and I've got canteens and things, or if I've got a gasoline canister spare, I can just fill it with water. I can just fill it up with water and just fill all my other containers with it. Handy. Very handy. I'm going to lie down. Character is... Killing himself here, man. He does. He does look stylish, though. The black, the, the, you know, that black kind of Aussie style uh, hat. You've got your little, like, my, my little jacket on, my little combat booties, little combat booties, my little black tactical trousers. Right, we're ready to go. 
I'm looking good. I'm looking good. Fancy, very fancy. It's a biker leather jacket. Doesn't it look leather to me? It looks more like a polar fleece, as I said. It looks like a polar fleece. It's alright. If it was leather, it would shine a little bit more, in my opinion. But that's just me. Anyway, home's just ahead, so we can start cooking. We can actually... This is going to be like a catch and cook episode. This is quite cool. Albeit we had to spend a whole episode getting the electrical generator and the uh, the electrical stove, but it's going to be a little catch and cook. This is cool. Look, I'm going to put it over here. Hold on. I'll put that there. I'll put that there. Yeah. And what I can do now is like, ah, look like that. Hold on. Hold on. Ha ha. Now we're... Oh, this is so cool. I love that they've put this into the game. I love that they've put this in the game. This is so much fun. I know a lot of people are not too fussed about this, but this this makes me happy. Like, th this right here makes me really happy. I mean, look at the scenery. Look at the scenery. You've got a nice little lake or a little stream right here. You're on the bank side. You've just caught a bunch of fish, and now you want to cook yourself a little meal. This is wholesome. Wholesome and awesome. I love it. Right, I'm just going to chuck all this stuff in here. And chuck that in there and that in there. We're going to keep this on us because these are all our, uh, our ingredients. So let's get some more ingredients out. We can make tea! We can make tea! <laughs> we can make tea? I didn't even, I forgot about that. We've got tea. We can make tea. We're also going to take the chicken as well because we might be able to make some chicken and rice. There's a carp fillet. Uh, let's take the carp out as well. And for good measure, let's make sure that we are not using anything other than the cleaver. The cleaver is indeed the weapon of choice. It's also the thing that you would usually use for cutting up food like this. Just That's just my opinion. That's just an opinion. You can use anything to cut up your food. Use anything. I don't care. But I'm going to use the cleaver. I'm going to use the cleaver. I'm going to keep that on me. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. Make sure that my pockets are indeed empty before I start any cooking. Get all this stuff. This is just fashion, by the way. Like, like see, see, having all these clothes and stuff like that. It's just me wanting a, a little bit of fashion souls. That's that's all it is. Last thing that we need to do is we need to quickly find out where that cookbook is. Rice cookbook, nice. Right, let's turn this on. That's it on. And let's cook some food. So, what have we got in terms of rice? Black pepper poultry chili. Ooh. Oil smashed cucumbers, curry with rice, fried rice, general souls poul- Ooh, what we got here? What is what is indeed included on that? So, we need a pepper. Optional, so we need- We essentially need chicken, which we have. We've got poultry. We need rice. We've got plenty of uses of rice. We've not got any peppers. And we've not got any broccoli. Is this maybe just, maybe just vegetables? Maybe? Is it maybe just vegetables? We'll find out. Uh, what else have we got? Have we got anything? What's what's involved in this? So uh, uh, we've not got any pepper. I wish we did have some pepper. We won't have any pepper. Uh, what we'll do first is we'll make some tea. We'll make some tea milk. I forgot about the milk. Don't worry about it. So we're gonna start off with a little tea. So we're going to start off with some water, 500 ml of water, our tea, and we're going to cook. So that's going to cook away. As soon as this goes green, we're going to take it out, and it's going to be a lovely little bit of tea. Gonna be, oh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. Uh, as for the pan, we are going to do, oh, what's involved with it. We've not got any bread, unfortunately, but if we could, we, I think we can grill some fish. Yeah, we can grill some fish. What's involved in this one? Ooh, that's a lot of ingredients. That's a lot of ingredients. I'm kind of interested in cooking half of this stuff. This will give me a great stamina boost, by the way. Tea, really good stamina boost. Right, let's see. Let's let's see how close we can get this. Let's see how close we can get this. As soon as it immediately turns green, as soon as it turns green, that's when it's time. So as soon as that's, this starts to change green, we hit we hit stop cooking and that's it. Now, well cooked. And we've got ourselves a little tea! We've 
make ourselves a little mug of tea. Look at that. How cool is that? I'm gonna drink all that. What kind of uh, what kind of benefits am I getting from my tea? So we are getting a lot of energy, a lot of water, and a lot of others. So it's actually beating my exhaustion right now. You can see the recovery bonus building right up there. It's at the very bottom. It says exhaustion recovery bonus, and it's currently at ten, which is really really good. Really good. Ooh. <laughs> Now, I don't think I have exhaustion turned on in this game. I don't think I have it turned on in the, uh, you know, in the single player save. But, let's start cooking something different. What we'll do is we'll... No, no, don't eat that! Chop that. <laughs> I almost ate raw chicken. That could have been, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. Oh, chicken drumsticks. And lots of poultry and some animal fat too. Right, cook food. Let's see what we can cook here. So we have stuffed peppers. We've got this, which is, I believe, any type of meat. Not sure. You know what? Let's get some... Let's try some fried rice. Can we get some fried... No, we can't. We can't. We can't. Things have become ob 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 <laughs> like awfully specific right here. Awfully specific, right? Let's try again. We're gonna try the pan, and we're gonna just do... We're gonna do a grilled veggie. Do some grilled veggies. So we're gonna start off with... Can we do a veggie? Oh, we can't do a big veggie. Can we do this veggie? Can we not do that veggie? Oh, God damn it. Can we do this veggie? That's a vegetable! That is a veg... Right. Right, try the onion. Okay, so we've got an onion. And we'll, put, we'll put two onions in it. We'll put two onions in it, and we'll cook that. We'll cook that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look at that. I love the way that it's cooking right now. How, how, how it kind of shows you what's being cooked. Uh, so we, we'll we try something in the pot though. What can we try in the pot? Rice. Oh, we've not got any peas. Fried rice. We've not got any fried... Uh, any, um, no any eggs. Pecking duck. Do we have any duck? A whole poultry. I should have taken that one. That would have been really good actually. How's this going? Whoa. Oh, take it out. Poorly cooked. That's fine. We'll just we'll just eat that. That won't be bad for us. It's poorly cooked, but it will still be totally fine. Oh, they're both given some really good reco recovery bonuses. Look at that. Energy, water. We can actually expand this out. So we've got 2.4 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, plenty of fat, no alcohol, plenty of water, and some other. So, we're good now. We're starting to get well fed now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do one more, or a couple more. What we're going to do is we're going to do some grilled fish. I don't want no olive oil. No olive oil. Loser. So we're just going to cut up this pr uh, Prussian carp. And we're going to make ourselves some uh, some grilled fishy. I would like some... Uh, do you know what would be good with some grilled fish right now? Oh, that, this is starting to remind me of the grilled swordfish that I had in Fort, uh, Fort Aventura. Oh, it was so good. You have, I have no idea. It was like a, it's like a nice big steak of a uh, of swordfish of marlin, and beside it was like really really thick cut oven chips, right? Or oven fries if you want to call them that, and a little side of salad. And in the middle of it was like a really, it wasn't a spicy sauce but it was so it was really unique it was very it was like bell peppers and tomato a little bit of garlic and it it's it, it tasted like it had a little bit of spice like a little bit of chili through it as well oh my days it was good oh my days it was good i i would i would eat that every day it was so good so so good oh being myself hungry but you can see how the cooking side of this game can actually benefit your character. I mean, look at the, I mean, we're getting recovery bonuses for each individual thing that we cook here, which is really good because recovery bonuses are really, really handy if you're gonna use, if, if your server or your single player has got exhaustion turned on. Cooked food will help you recover. That's a massive bonus. And having so much, so many teas, like tea packets, you'll be totally grand. Or even coffee. You could oh the and coffee's got the highest of them all unless it's the ghoul energy drink that's got the highest word. 
either or. Consume either one of them and you will be dandy. Right, we'll end cooking there. Poorly cooked. No! How do- Oh, you even get- You even get on a little platter! Look at that! Look at the little platter! That's so cool! Hold on, can I drop that? Oh! That's so cool! I like that. I, I like small things like that. That's so cool. Right, we're going to cook, cook on the pan. And we are going to do... Um, do we have any eggs? No eggs. Uh, what do we have? Let's do another grilled veggie. Let's do let's do a couple more grilled veggies. So I'm going to put two of these in here and cook that. Uh, I will make another tea. So I'm going to fill up my water bottle. Just like so. And we are going to do a nice tea. Tea and holster water. Cook. And we want to stop cooking this in three, two, one. Now. Poorly cooked. It's okay. It's fine. What we can do is we can just put this down and we'll cook a wee bit more. So we're going to have grilled fish and grilled veggies. So a wee bit more grilled fish, shall we please? So we want a carp fillet. Cook that. I mean, it's looking good. We're going to have a tea. We're going to have tea. We've got some grilled veggies. We've got some grilled fish. We'll have some uh, some chicken meat. We'll probably try and get them on the... Oh, you know what we could do? Uh, can I set you on fire? Fire, 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 fire. Lighter. I need a lighter. Matches. There we go. Uh, light fire. So just light that for right now. Make sure our tea is almost done. Perfect, well cooked, excellent. What we can do is we can now place this down, like that. And we can cook some food on a skewer, meat skewer, cook that. Can we take the chicken? We can take the chicken, cook that. And on the other one, oh, I didn't choose one. I need to do a meat skewer, and we'll do that. So these are gonna take a few minutes because they're getting cooked over an open fire. But these ones on the other hand, these are, these are already pretty much ready. These are already pretty much ready. So, once this is all set and done, I'm going to be well fed after this. Like, the recovery rate for my character is going to be blown sky high. I'm going to be well fed here. This is really, really good. Uh, one thing that I need to keep a note, a note of is um, what type of ingredients that I need to get my, my hands on, really. Because it seems as though I need something. I need very specific ingredients for very specific things. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put all this stuff back in here. All this food, all this lovely, lovely ingredient food. Just like that. And I'm wearing shorts when I'm not supposed to be wearing shorts. There we go. Perfect. And you, and you, and you, and you, and I'll put the fish down here as well. Because the fish, even though we can cook them, we can turn them into bait again. What's this looking like? Oh, this is burnt, burnt to high hell. I totally forgot about it. I forgot about it. I totally... Oh, look. See if I eat this. Oh, it's, it's, not, even, it's not even giving me food repulsion. No, it's not giving. It's not giving me food repulsion. That's pretty useful. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly turn this off. Uh, turn off, and we're just going to keep an eye on the skewers. So we have tea, veggies grilled, fish grilled, and a few other things. I'm just going to chuck all this stuff in here as well. May as well. Uh, I'm going to refill my water bottle. There we go. Just keep that nice and filled because eventually I will have to use it. I will have to use it for drinking, guys. So may as well keep it filled. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, improvised uh, chests here that I'm going to be building in the next episode. In fact, I could start building them right now. I could ideally do that, but but I don't have the metal to to compensate for it. At least I don't think I do. At least I don't think I do. If I do, then it'll be it'll be excellent. So I can just shift F this, shift F that. Uh, I don't think I do have the metal, so we're just not going to worry about it. Next episode, I will certainly worry about it. I'll, I'll def- Oh, wait. One. One bit of metal. 
Just one bit of mill. Alright, okay. I suppose we could go over and try and find some in the town. It's not that far from me. And, I mean, it's it's, it's not that far. It's not that far. Uh, is there anything in here that's a kind of a blunt object? Can I use you? I can. I can indeed use that. So that's that sorted. So I just need the planks and I just need the metal. Uh, the planks, well, I mean, these big things kind of are going to help me with that. So it's not a big problem. So what we'll do is, as soon as this is done, as soon as these skewers are all sorted and finished, uh, and we've consumed all this stuff as well, go back into the town, grab a wee bit of metal, come back, and I'll start chopping down trees. In fact, I could start chopping down trees right now. Let's start chopping the trees down right now, shall we? Because it's there's there's no point waiting. There's no point dilly-dallying. How long have I got left in these? Two minutes. So we'll cook these, cut down some trees, and then we'll go look for some metal. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. They're done. Fully cooked. That's fine. I don't really care. Nice kebabs. Crafting. And they are cooked. Fully cooked. Don't really care. They are done. Right. Let's cut down a... In fact, I think we just have to cut down this tree. This should be ample. This one big... This one big pine tree right here. This big... Is this a pine tree? This is definitely a pine tree. It's definitely not a spruce. I think it's a pine tree. It's definitely a pine tree, right? It could be a spruce, you never know. Anyway. Oh, that's a lot of logs. That's a lot of logs. We're just going to do the handy thing of moving them and have a group. Just like so. And moving them one step at a time closer to the camp. Eventually, I will have to do this for building a base and it's going to be tedious and it's going to be hard work. But it will all pay off in the end. There we go. So, these need... 10 each, so we have 2, 4, six, so we've got 7. So we're probably only going to get 4 logs, or 4 planks to each log, so mm, we might be able to do this. If my brain, if my brain understands mathematics. 7 times 4, 7, 7 is 14, uh, 20, okay, we're going to have enough. 28. 28. <laughs> my brain, my brain couldn't brain, my brain couldn't math right there for a second, I was like, Seven, four, times, 14, 21, 20, 28. <laughs> right, uh, we'll cut these up. We'll just get these all sorted out. I mean, we only need five because that will send us to 20 and that's how much we need for these. Um, so one more, I suppose. Yeah, one more, one more. And what we'll do is we'll have a little munch on these skewers. That's 10. That's nine. Is there a plank missing? There is indeed a plank missing. There it's right there. Ten out of ten. We just need three bits of metal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this, this, and that. And I'm going to have a wee drink of my tea. As we run over to try and get this metal. That's all we need now. That's all we need. Now, oh, there's a drop south of me. I'm not going to bother with it. Now, I won't just be looting Charlie 3 Town. I will also be going kind of northeast towards this little town right here. It's pretty handy with when it comes to, uh, like, little miscellaneous items and stuff like that over there. There's also the potential of a car spawning over there. And me having a car right now would be really, really, really handy. I'd need to quickly double check that my stomach contents are not too high. It seems to be more liquid than anything else. But you can see the recovery rate is quite high across all of these. Uh, I'm going to eat the grilled fish. Again, just keeping a close eye on my stomach. Just in case I end up like, bleh, you know, bulking, being sick. Okay, okay. We've just got the skewers left now, but we'll, we'll save them. Because they're apparently poorly cooked. I don't know how you can poorly cook skewers over an open flame. I don't know how you can do that. What we're going to do is we're going to search the, uh, the wrecked vehicles here. That's all we're going to do. Just have to run in, get the wrecks, and dip. That's all I need to do. And the first wreck that I know about should be behind the police station, if not beside here. Okay, there's no... Oh! Hit. Hit. Oh, damn. Dead. 
Okay. We got rid of the problems. Now we just have to walk away casually. <laughs> As if nothing happened. Quite a few of them inside the PD. There's the wreck. And there should be a second wreck somewhere. I just need I just need this metal, dude. That's all I need. I just need three bits of metal. That's all I need. Loser. Loser. Uh, there should be another wreck around here somewhere. I don't need it. Because I have... What are you doing? Hold on. I'm going to jump in here. Just in case. <gasps> Cheese. Cheese, Gromit. Cheese. I love Wallace and Gromit. If you've never seen Wallace and Gromit, you're missing out. It's it's one of my favourite stop motion animation uh, shows of all time. Hold on. Set a name. Hashtag buff. Um, accept. Open door. Leave. Oh, they're all outside. Oh, there's a little garden right there. Madam, I'm trying to pick, pick things. Yeesh, that was one hell of a hit. Thank you for taking my health down, you loser. Right, we need these cucumbers. We need cucumbers. I wish we could turn them into pickles. Part of me wishes I could turn them into pickles because I love pickles, by, by the way. Like, see see if you've got a favourite pickle. I'll probably like it as well. I'll probably like it as well. I'll be your best friend with pickles. Best friend with pickles. Because <laughs> I I love them. I love pickles. They're so good. They're so yummy. Right. You. Zap. 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 Oh, shit. Zap. There we go. Dead. There should be another little garden around here somewhere. There's a pear. There should be another little garden around here somewhere. If it's not... There, it's there. There, it's right there. That'll be like onions and stuff. I've only got three arrows. I'm going to need to be careful here. Get rid of the glass cannon. Get rid of her. Okay. I need this. I need this. I need this. Potatoes. Nice. Even better than onions. Lots of carbohydrates. Right. I don't think there's any more gardens along there. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up a wee bit. Gonna run into the fields, run into the uh, the trees here, avoid the puppets, and skirt around them. Good thing for me, my character is lovely and fast. He's nimble. He has what is his overall running speed? Running speed is medium, endurance is medium, so he's got a good mix of both. Character needs to pee. Hold on, hold on, just hold on to, hold on to, just just think happy thoughts. Don't think about running water. Don't think about, like, drips. Don't think about the sweat dripping down your nose. It's not It's not something you should be thinking about, you fool. <laughs> right, we're back home. We are back home. Perfect. And now I can do this. Ah, yes. Let's go. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the uh, weapons into one of... Oh, I moved that into the wrong chest. That was wrong. That was incorrect of me. You fool. Uh, I'm going to move all the uh, the weapons and such into one particular uh, chest right now. Just so I can organise things a little bit better. Uh, those... Wait, those arrows can stay with me. That's even more arrows than I thought I had. Sake. Right. That as well, we're also going to move all the ammo and things into the same... Character sweating buckets right now. Going to move it on to the same chest. Uh... That should be everything, unless I've missed something. What about in here? Any bullets? I don't see any bullets, it's just... Oh, magazines. Right. Magazine... Clip. There we go. Right, now my character can pee. You can finally pee. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Go on. Go on. Whoa, what was going on with his hands there? Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see his hands? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, should I grab a hold of his own penis and it just went blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this game sometimes. This game, I swear, I swear. It's so fun. It's so much fun. Right. I'm gonna eat all of these meat skewers. So this should give me the protein that I need. Metabolism. Stomach content is actually down. It's actually We've actually been metabolizing a lot of this stuff already, which is really good. It's given me 345 calories, which is not enough. Should be... I, I should really be getting like near enough 2000 or something like that. So hopefully these, uh, hopefully this meat skewer gives me the, uh, the calories that I need. It gives me an extra seven, 700 calories. And I don't think it filled my entire stomach. So we can definitely push the next one in. So that will give me 1200 calories on top of the calories I already have. So we're probably looking at 1500 calories. Plenty of fuel to run about the place. Plenty of recovery as well. Lots of recovery bonuses. Lots and lots of recovery bonuses. Look at that. Perfect. Excellent. What an episode. We got some cooking done. We got some looting done. You know, this is good. This is good. This is really good. I like this. I really like this. Uh, health is down at 45% only because of the puppets. Because they are buggers. And they whapped me one. Which is an absolute peach. Uh, but. But. This is good. At least, at least we've got the facilities now to actually cook things. Uh, I am actually going to move this stuff inside here because I don't want it to despawn. I know it doesn't despawn by itself, but just, just, just in case, just, just in case, um, we're going to rename this to. Hold on, I need to actually look at it. Cooking. So that's the cooking one. So we're going to move all the cooking stuff in there. So we're going to move like the intestines in there. We're going to move all the... Oh boy, we're going to have to move a lot of stuff in there. So we're going to move all the fish and stuff in there. We're going to move all of this. All this guff. I'm going to move the cookbook as well. I'm going to move all the fish in there too. I'm not going to move... I'll leave this fish for here. Leave that here. Uh, and we'll turn that into bait. Because we need more bait. It's just a thing that we need. Uh, more cooking items, we can take that and that, and we can take the garlic, the chicken drumstick, apples, or anything, anything to do with cooking, absolutely anything to do with cooking, we're going to move it in there. The wine, that bottle, that potato, that pear, even, even the pans, all that stuff, we're going to move it all across, we're going to move the water in there, there's a cucumber I missed, um, is there anything else that I need to move across, feathers, not particularly. Move the chocolate across there, the candy. What else will we move? Is there anything else that I'm missing here? Uh, water bottle, water bottle, uh, ghoul energy drink. Uh, I don't see anything else. I don't think I see anything else. If you do spot something, leave it in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see if I can try and pick it up in the next episode and try and move it across. Move that in there. This is literally Tarkov at this point moving this stuff around. Uh, I'm gonna leave the seeds in here for just now because they're not a they're not a great deal part of cooking. You don't really use seeds to cook. You use seeds to plant things. I will eventually create uh, a farming box as well and a farming plot. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have now got ourselves a little cooking station. We've also got some ingredients. We've ate plenty of good food. We're recovering very fast. We're getting a lot of calories back, and overall, we're surviving. We're pretty much surviving. Off of the land, if you want to, if you want to call it that. I am going into gardens that are, you know, pre pre placed and stuff like that. Uh, maybe in the next episode, I'll try and do a little bit of hunting because I kind of need a little bit more protein. I kind of need a little bit need a little bit more meat uh, in my overall, you know, character's diet and stuff like that. So we're probably going to end up doing that. And this is definitely the look. This is definitely the look. I'm liking this. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Again, I do apologise for not streaming tonight, but I just need to get a few things planned and get essentially get the ball rolling with my uh, my gym and my PT and stuff like that. I need to pee. Quickly, quickly, I need to pee. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below that as well if you want to continue watching this series and you know supporting the channel as well consider subscribing ring the little bell stay up to date with videos just like this as well as unfortunately a sunday night live stream which would usually start between 6 and 7 p.m uk we go for about three or four hours playing scum stalker 
Uh, sometimes we'll play Helldiver, sometimes we'll play a variety of other games, and it's usually a lot of fun. I'd love to see you there. I love seeing new faces and new names pop up in the chat, and I'm a very talkative person when you get to know me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, what time is it in game? Actually, let's find out what time it is in game. What is the time, Mr. Wolf? It's currently half past one in the afternoon and it's getting a little bit stormy, so I'm probably going to take shelter and I'm probably going to do a little bit of Warhammer painting later on after I've got my, all my stuff sorted and organised. Hope you all have a lovely day and as always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.